All right, I wanna talk real quick about one of my screw ups uh, in order to mount a blade onto the actual carbon fiber. Uh, I had taken blocks of wood, just like this, and uh, found my centers, turned them, um, actually came through, figured out what my tapers I wanted to be, how much was in the actual carbon fiber tube, and then I got to realizing I needed to be able to cut. Uh, I was using a pull saw in order to do that. However, the problem is I got really sloppy. Uh, what I would much rather do, because it was so hard trying to hold this and cut without cutting my fingers off, I'm going to actually go back, do this again, but I'm going to chuck it in an expandable chuck. I'm going to go ahead and actually cut my slot first to make sure it fits. Once I have that, then I'll put it in the expandable chuck so that I can then turn the actual um, tenon here that will fit into the uh, carbon fiber. So let's go ahead and take some time to do that. Okay, so my prototype seems to work out just fine. Uh, you'll notice that I went ahead and chucked it in the um, expandable chuck. Uh, I did go ahead and cut. I got uh, about two inches in deep on this and then uh, turned it, uh, used a, a live center on the other side in order to keep it stable uh, as I was turning it. So one of the first things that I have to do is go ahead and find my corners. And then once I've got that, then I can um, set that up in the expandable chuck. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so real quick, um, I want to go across the glue, uh, glue joint uh, as I make my cut into it. Uh, I'm roughly at a quarter inch. Uh, we'll just go through and just kind of fit this on the bandsaw, cut it down two inches deep, and then once we've got this slot cut, then we'll be ready to put it on the lathe. Let's go over to the bandsaw and make a cut. All right, so I've uh, got the slot. I'm going to do a quick little test fit, and if it doesn't fit quite right, and I always just trim up the edge a little bit with a file or uh, go back with the bandsaw. So I'm good for just a little bit. So we need to make some uh, adjustments in the, uh, the slot. All right, so it's not super tight, but it is tight enough in order to uh, be able to put this in and glue it. Uh, so now let's uh, chuck it up and turn down our uh, spot so that we're able to actually get this into the uh, carbon fiber tube. All right, so now I've got it checked up. Uh, I had to go back and double check, and make sure that the chucks were actually on the slotted end, because this will be the end that I'm turning in order to fit into the fiberglass tubing or the carbon fiber tubing. So let's go ahead and turn this down real quick. Uh, then we'll be ready to go. All right, so now that I've done the one piece, I need to go back and double check. I am just slightly over uh, one inch, uh, just by a few thousandths in terms of this. But then I can set this up and see where am I going to be in terms of length, um, which should be just fine. Uh, I'm definitely too large in the tendon here, so I'll just continue to work on that. About an eighth of an inch off, and then I'll start uh, using my caliper to check. So I've got my piece of carbon fiber. I'll go ahead and move the tailstock out of the way. And it's not quite there. Especially with that knot, I won't have much uh, flexibility in the wood. So I'm gonna have to make sure that it is just nice and uh, smooth. So let's take that down just a little bit more. All right, so the carbon fiber fits on a little bit less uh, snug than I wanted, but you know, we'll go with it because you're gonna put epoxy in there anyways. Now we just need to finish off this taper in order to uh, get it matching the other one. All right, so real quick, we've got the pieces on uh, and they seem to be fair. This one might be just a little bit loose, but once we get the glue in there, that'll be fine. One of the things I need to do is since I epoxied these, I need to sand this area down so that the wood glue, or I can use the actual uh, epoxy as a, a binding agent as well. However I wanna do it, I wanna scratch this up a little bit area, uh, this area up just a little bit more. I will go through and sand the rest of this, and then we're gonna put some fiberglass cloth on it. We'll have to taper this down first because we want the cloth to come up over the joint here as well. So those are something, some of the things that we're gonna work on right now. All 
All right, so the temp's starting to get warm outside. I've sanded these lightly. Um, I think that I'm going to use an epoxy uh, uh, binding agent here rather than the wood glue because I don't think I have enough wood exposed. So uh, epoxy on epoxy, that'll be just fine. I'm also going to do my carbon fiber tube uh, on it as well because I'm gonna have a full load, one pump of uh, epoxy. So I might as well do as many pieces as I can. However, I'm not going to do my middle insert because I still need to cut these to length. These paddle lengths are slightly different than some of my other paddles. So we will customize it based off of the paddles and the carbon fiber tube, cut them down to what we need. And I'll use a Dremel uh, cutoff saw in order to do that with an abrasive blade. And then we will then coat this and put it in to the exact length that we want. So let's go ahead and uh, put these together. All right, so I have my 206, not 207, uh, West Systems epoxy, epoxy um, set up. I've already done one uh, over here uh, in terms of setting up, if you will, the ends. Did a quick little clamp on that. Uh, now we need to get this one up and going as well. So we're gonna go time lapse. All right, we're gonna let this sit for just a few minutes uh, and then I'm gonna keep track of my mixture here. Uh, I can feel a little bit of heat. We're 80 degrees uh, in the barn, so uh, I'm worried about it getting a little bit uh, thick. Once it starts to thicken up, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the um, carbon fiber tubing on and then uh, we'll let it set for a few hours. All right, so I'm still keeping track of my uh, epoxy. It's starting to thicken a little bit. So now I'm kind of getting nervous about uh, how much time I really have left with this in terms of its pot life. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the tubes on. Let's go ahead and uh, get that accomplished. One of the things I forgot to mention was inside the tube, you need to take a little sandpaper and scratch that up. Uh, that way you've got a little bit more binding surface. <laughs> 